Welcome back to the Manor Entropians, Julian McBain here. And today we are going to be doing a 20 ped hunt at Orthos. It's been a while since I've hunted out here, and I kind of want to see how a controlled cost hunt goes. You know, my robot looter skill is a lot higher than the last time I was out here because I did. I think it was Easter Mayhem was all robots. And so I think this is going to be a good time. Uh, before we get started, though, for those of you who are new here, welcome to the Manor. Please take an opportunity to subscribe down below. We are on the road to 13 million subscribers, one subscription at a time. So please take a moment to subscribe. All right, let's get this hunt underway. And of course, we are hunting with Buchan's Spare Rifle. And I've decided to use skills instead of armor for this particular run. So I might have to do a little healing, but we'll find out. This will also help me to deal with my dodge skill. Because my dodge skill does not get nearly enough grinding. My evade skill is doing pretty good, but my dodge skill needs some work. Not so far so standard. For these bots, this isn't bad loot. Oh, my 33 bottles of sweat. I started sweating at Boreas about an hour ago, and then I started falling asleep, so... Instead of sweating mobs, I took a nap. <laughs> I gotta say, this is one of my favorite places to do, like, low-key hunting. I don't know why. Oh, 39 peck, that's a good loot. I mean, it's a PvP zone, but players generally don't PvP here. Honestly, players usually don't come here much at all. Especially since you can't get oil here anymore. I was never here during the years that you could get oil. I mean, you can still get oil from over here. But it's all, like, overpopulated by Ubers and stuff. But if you're new, this is actually a good place to get some of your robot looter skills in. Um, you can also do a lot by, I think it's Fort Sisyphus, but this is much better for low level hunting. Sisyphus is more, like once you're able to use the R Matrix weapons, like an LR-10, that's when you want to be over at Fort Sisyphus. If you're hunting with like Bukins, this is the place to be. And as your robot looter profession goes up, these guys tend to drop a lot of like the B101s, the Solomate Rubios, the Solomate uh, Azuros, ooh, and of course some crude oil, which I had forgotten about. Did I have any? Okay, good. I'm like, did I forget to empty that? No, I did not. Which is actually good because I need the oil from one of them, from my uh, hover pod. <laughs> So if you want to get oil without actually mining, this is a place you can get it in really small amounts. And we're doing pretty good here. Vault pack. So these are all pretty standard loots. What does Bukens use per shot? It's not very much. And again, this is a 20 pet hunt. Uh, 155 ammo. And so... Whoops. We'll have to um, see exactly how much the cost of a single shot is. I don't want to get too deep in. I'm not that worried about dying, because I do have decent skills, but you get enough things shooting at you. It's like uh, in Warhammer, you have the bolter rule. Best thing for taking out large uh, creatures is a bolter, because it just fires so many rounds. You can't, you know, you just can't make that many armor saves. Well, and it's the same thing here. I might be dodging a lot of it, but I can't dodge everything. And eventually, they're going to wear me down. I'm going to try to heal this guy back a little bit. There 
There we go. Yeah, some more oil. Oops, I just not move my ammo out of its normal traditional spot. Okay, so it takes an average of, oh no, not him. Oh, Jesus. We're just gonna kinda like run this way a little bit. We got a few of them on us now. That's one thing, it's the F targeting in this is kinda crap. Sorry, Mindark, I love your game, but you kinda blizzarded this one. See, this is what I'm talking about. Now we're in danger of dying. Oh, no, an Azure. Oh, and it's full TT. Kick ass. That's never happened before. Okay, let's uh heal before I regret it. Ah, oh, not that gun. Back him up. See, if you get close enough, they switch to melee. Which, you know, in that case, my evade takes over from my dodge, and I do a lot better against them. Not to mention their... melee attack doesn't do nearly as well. Okay, player, what are you gonna do? doesn't have ah she's got one of the uh... oh, she apparently has decided not to attack me that's good oh. I usually I, I won't instigate PvP as a rule but if you attack me, I will fire back. Let's try to back him up a little bit. I just I don't want anything to do with that clump of robots. Which, and that's pretty much what it is, is a giant clump of frickin' robots. Just try to grab some around the edges a little bit, wait for them to respawn. I mean, I could throw on my ghost armor and just, like, mow them all down. But it's just a supreme waste of money. More oil. I will take it. I mean, it's fun. Like, I could come out here with my LR-20, you know, with absolutely no care in the world about for how much pet I'm burning away, and just pour money into killing these things. And it would be hilarious. But, uh, I just, I can't justify it, guys. I'm sorry. I can't. Oh, this could get ugly fast. Especially since... Loot him, damn it. Ah, that would be lag. And it still didn't fucking loot him. Thank you. I'll take you. It'll peel 
those three away from the crowd. Oh, four. I guess I should be flattered. They're taking me serious, like. Oh, there's a bunch of them that don't like me. Okay, let's try to turn a couple of these into melee. That'll help a lot. One of the big benefits to being a melee player. I wonder why it moved their hitbox to the waist. It makes it look like I'm shooting them in the crotch. Come on. Can I do this without dying, without having to heal? Probably not, but we can give it a shot. We're actually doing okay. We've got about five pet and shrap and 17 peck and oil, and we've gone through. Damn it! I wonder why it didn't give me the option to use my HDNA. It's like it auto did it. Did I just miss it? Oh, excuse me, did not mean to slurp that. I wonder if you just can't use HDNA in a PVP zone. That would make a certain amount of sense. That way when players are attacking each other, there we go. You don't have someone like reviving themselves right behind just to either A get shot again or some shit. So that did not go as well as planned. I got I got a little arrogant. That's on me. This can go back on that gun before I forget. I'm not sure what to do with this. I'm probably just gonna sell it. It's not my thing. It goes for like 9,000% markup, which means I can get 90 pet out? Is it 9? No, 900% markup. Oh, no. 5,900% markup. So, you know, I could probably get about 60 pet out of it. And it's a quest reward. So I'm probably going to end up putting that on on the market. I uh, did that with another drop. Let's see who this is. Oh, that's right. I don't have that gun. Yet. Talk about mix and match armor. Shout out to Dude. That's really his name. That's actually kind of awesome. I, I got to admit, sometimes there is a certain temptation to open fire. But it's just a waste of ped. It is. You know, I'm not into the PvP scene. And maybe it's just me. I, maybe I'm just a bump on the log. That's entirely possible. More oil. The only downside to hunting these guys is you, I don't think you can global off of them. I think they're too low a level. Come on. Got that one.
So overall, the hunt is actually going pretty well, the one death aside. And the necessary healing that came with it. So that's definitely going to skew my numbers a little bit. But it's my own fault. I knew it was going to happen. I'm like, no, I'm going to get too deep in. You know, I don't want to do it from here. And I'm like, screw it. And I went in and I got too deep in. I ended up with too many mobs on me and I died. You know, occupational hazard. I had forgotten how much I enjoy doing these like low level hunts with Bukins. You know, it's all it's all low stakes. It's just you go in, you take some ammo. You know, and if you're a newbie watching this, this is the way to go. You know? I'm playing with 20 ped right now. That's two bucks. And I'm gonna get a lot of hunting in with this two bucks, and then I can just cycle the ammo. And I'll have some loot at the end, and the loot is saleable. And I mean, at this level, are you going to end up with a lot of ammo to... I mean, not a lot of ammo, a lot of loot to sell? No, you're not. But there might be someone willing to buy small amounts of stuff, or you might be able... I mean, worst case scenario, you TT it, you buy more ammo. But this is how you get your skills up. And yeah, at first you're going to want armor. You know, even but even the TT armor... Is pretty good against these or the uh, the stuff in the web store and if you're just starting out I wish I had done this when I first started I did not get one of the starter kits and I should have and I probably would have gotten the high level one and no I'm not making any commission from mind dark off this but the reason I say that is because it makes the starting experience less grindy it really does and even if you can only afford like the lower level ones you know, having the slightly better gun, because the Bar the Barbarella with the amp and the scope and the laser sight, it just gives you a leg up over, like, hunting with Rubios, which is what I did. Like, I ground that shit. Even today, I consider buying it just so I can get the gun. Kind of want the car, too, even though I really wouldn't use it. It's just cool. I sold my Valkyrie to the TT when it broke because I didn't realize you could repair the damn thing. <sighs> yeah, I'm still angry about that. Let's try to back off a little bit before I make the same mistake twice. Let's go back out to the periphery here and start hunting. I think that's that other player that I ran into. If you get three or four players out here, you can pretty much clean this place up pretty well. Not entirely. Um, I'd love to get like a group hunt at some point out here and just see if we can't wipe all the robots out. Oh, that was good. One, one ped 14. Um, I don't think it's going to restart the oil, but it'd be cool to see if it did. Sometime when there are no Ubers over at the other oil rig, I'd like to grab some of the free oil, but, like, that's ever going to happen. When would there not be Ubers at the other oil rig? Uh, there is an oil rig in Arcadia that's that drops free oil. Dung! I got way too excited over that. But that's the first time I've actually found dung. Uh, oh, there it is. Common dung are excrements from various creatures inhabiting the planet. But here's the thing. For those of you who are like, what the fuck? Dung is like fruit. But dung is used to fertilize own land areas. Thus, it's really important when you own a land area. I did not think it would end up in mind resources, but that works. And I mean, let's face it, dung is kind of important to life. And here's the reason why. One, dung is used to fertilize, you know, as gross as it is, animal dung has been used for centuries to fertilize fields. But back dung, or guano, is used to create gunpowder. 
I don't know if it's still used or not, but for a long time it was. The nitrates. So, like, you have no idea how important poop is. Maybe that's why Blizzard has so many poop quests in World of Warcraft. But, just, as, as gross as it is, it just, it baffles me how important it is to modern life that we have access to the poop of other creatures. And no one ever tells you this shit in school. You know, they, they, they make it sound better. Oh, it's fertilizer. It's not fertilizer, it's shit. Okay? <laughs> it's like Ian Malcolm says in Jurassic Park, that is one big pile of shit. That's all it is. Oh, we got another player. Shout out to... Dyremar... Dyremar kick. Dyremar That guy. Shout out to that guy. If you're watching, drop a comment below, please. And give us, like, a, a, a guidance on how to pronounce your name, dude. We're doing pretty good here. Okay, we're about halfway through the hunt. I'm not sure if we're going to go through all 20 ped. I try to keep these videos down to about 30 minutes. Uh, I know I did the massive 200 ped hunt the other day, and that was almost, that was like 45. That was a sitcom hour. Um... But I do try to keep these videos down to 30 minutes. So, we're about, we got about 9 minutes left. So, it'll either be 20 ped or it'll be 30 minutes, whichever one comes first. As you all are used to. Crikey, crikey, I think that's what he's saying. You know, it's funny, I, I have this leprechaun out, and uh, I've been I've been listening to the audiobooks for Artemis Fowl with my son, and the name of this organization is LEP, or LEP, and the unit is Recon, and according to bu the book, LEP Recon is where Leprechaun came from. And I thought that was really creative, like... To the author of Artemis Fowl, let me let me raise a glass to you. That was creative. Nine, not eight pen. Oh, ranged Gauss, ranged plasma. Good like finding a Gauss weapon. I think I've seen one the entire time I've been playing. I was another, and another player had it. I was like, oh, and, and it makes like a weird sound when you shoot it. But it was like, oh, that's what a Gauss weapon sounds and looks like. Had never seen one before. But no, since since uh, this is coming out uh, Sunday, today's Saturday, I figure I gotta get all of the recording done for my vacation. And so I figured that the recordings I would do would all be centered around some newbie hunts while I'm gone. And so this is the first of them. It's uh, all robots, as you can see. We're gonna see how that goes. And I will come up with another low level hunt to do for the next video. Uh, I'm not planning on doing punies. I might, but uh, who wants to watch me do punies? I mean, seriously. 
Maybe I'll do like Daikaba or Curbs or something like that. You're down. So actually, this is probably going to turn out to be like a 15 pet hunt. It's been so long since I did that, I do not have the time now. Can I... Oh, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll go to full 20. I don't know. Waiting for the weather to make a decision outside on whether or not I'm going to be able to mow my damn lawn. Dodge, 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 dodge. Take the round, you bastard. Dodge. Oh my god. This robot just won't take a damn hit. Jeez. Eight pack. Thanks for all the fish. You metal bastard. Maybe he was Bender. I don't know. I can just see these things saying, kiss my shiny metal ass. I hope I don't get, like, in trouble for quoting a guy from Futurama. Not him. Ugh. Yes, I want to target the guy that's miles away instead of the guy that's shooting me. Never trust auto-targeting. Never, ever, ever trust auto-targeting. It'll always go out of its way to screw you. Like, when I was hunting Longtooth, oh, I'm aiming at something. It's actually closer than the other player. Snaps to the other player. It's like, ah! Damn it, Mind Arc. Actually, this run did not do too badly. I feel that we're probably going to lose like a pet or two on this. We got a little bit of oil. Actually, honestly, that much oil would fuel a starter vehicle for quite some time. Because like, if you look at my pod... Which is almost out of fuel. You'll notice it uses five hundredths of an oil unit per kilometer. So if I throw 50 peck worth of oil in there, it's going to last a real long time. So that's, that's nothing at all. That's not bad. So if nothing else, that's, that's a benefit. I mean, you still have to refine it. Because I've got crude oil. Two crude oil makes an oil, so I've got about 25... Well, I've still 50 peck worth, but I've got about 25 units worth of regular oil. Because you don't throw crude into a frickin' ship. How's my dodge doing? Yeah, see, I've gained two points of dodge. And that's good. Let's get you over here. Looks like we got two players here. Okay, we're gonna kill this one and call it. 
There we go. So it turned out to be a 15 ped run. And if you wonder why I tend to hold myself to 30 minutes, it's partially so it doesn't drag out things for you guys. Part of it so it doesn't drag out things for me. Um, I think all of that's very important to make sure that the, the video remains entertaining throughout. So I'll keep that in mind for the future. A half hour is about a 15 ped run. So I did 15 ped of robots. And I think I think for my next one, I'm going to do 15 ped worth of berry cled up at my old stomping ground. And I know you've been seeing me do a lot of berry cled. Um, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> so I might either do berry cled up here, or I might do Daikaba over by Twin Peaks. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I'm sure I'll do both, but which uh, which one you will see on the next video, as opposed to the one after that, that's a question mark. But I do want to do a count up and see how this goes. All in all, I think we're gonna do okay, because I've got 14 ped here. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be very, very close. Like, the dung doesn't count for shit. That was an unintentional pun, but I'll take it. Um, the dung doesn't count for anything, but the dung does count for shit, because it is shit. Um, I'm sorry. Shit, literally. Um, the dung doesn't count for ped because you just have to have way too much of it for it to really matter. But between the shrapnel and the oil, and then we compare that to the amount of ammo we have left, and then we subtract repairs, which shouldn't be too monumental at all. Yeah. I'm still irritated they got rid of the freaking auctioneer up at Half Moon Cove. I don't know why they did that, so it's just let's shut the door. It's like, why? Okay, so. Throw the oil in. Throw the shrapnel in. 14.69. Plus, how much ammo do we have left? 5.04. That's 19.73 ped. And then we'll throw this in the repairs. 1.79. So we lost 2.06 ped. And part of that was because of like the mask, which I should have checked to make sure it was repaired before. But we did pretty good. Like, seriously. That's that's nothing to be ashamed of. So, having a two-ped loss, that's all skills. Right? This is where we gain our skills from repairs, because we're using all UL stuff. That's all good stuff. So, I am definitely not going to complain. Uh, how do you do on your newbie hunts? You know, your low-level hunts, hunting like robots or anything like that. Leave a comment. So uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, and of course, subscribe down below. We are on the road to 13 million subscribers, one subscription at a time. So please make sure you subscribe. Guys, I really appreciate all the support. You all have a wonderful day.